That's right, guys. Nothing but Memphis showboats. And that's what I'm going to give you here on the captain's log. I'm your host, Brandon, a.k.a. the captain. And I want to thank you guys for showing up for the first episode. And let's get right into it. Figured why not start off with the hottest quarterback room in the USFL for a first episode. Memphis has three quarterbacks on the roster now, two free agent signings that we acquired this offseason, and Brady White, who returns from last season. And it's going to be a hell of a battle in camp, man. You can already see it from the socials, the USFL social media teams giving us some great content. Shout out to them on the Instagram and the Twitter. Absolutely killing it. Seeing great throws from all these guys on the socials. They're all dropping dimes. I I got my opinions on who's going to be the starter, but that'll be for the end. Let's get into it. We've got Cole Kelly, first quarterback up. He was a Southeastern Louisiana University stud. Goes over there, transferred there from Arkansas in 2019. Made his name known immediately. In 2020, he wins the Walter Payton Award. Uh, MVP of the FCS, pretty much. Best player in the FCS for that season. Put up 2,600 yards, 18 touchdowns to four interceptions. Pretty good if you ask me, but wait, but wait, there's more. 2021 puts up 3,600 yards, 31 touchdowns to only six interceptions. A 73% completion percentage. He goes and plays at the NFL PA Bowl and shows up, wins MVP. Cole Kelly shows up to your game, wins your game, wins MVP at your game. That's what Cole does. I mean, absolute stud. Like I said, I've seen him make these nice little touch passes to DJ Myers in the back of the end zone. Nice sideline throw over here to John Vea Johnson. A little toe drag sway from John Vea. Absolutely beautiful. And can't ah, can't wait to see these guys, man. I wish I I wish we could get them all in the game at some point, but I know you got to stick to one. I like the guy to I like to have just one quarterback, focus on him, make him the starter, let the team rally around that guy. But we've got studs all over. I'm completely fine. Whoever starts week one. So with that being said, on to Ryan Willis. Ryan Willis out of Kansas, goes to Kansas in 2015, transfers out of there over to Virginia Tech in 2017 as a walk-on, no guarantee to make the roster, no no spot saved for him at all, just transfers over there with some grit and a dream, and that's, you know, 99% of these USFL guys, man, all of them, just grit and a dream, all had to battle through some adversity, Ryan Willis, no different, uh, comes in, makes the team in 2017, has to sit out for uh, NCAA transfer rules. 2018, appears in two games, starts, uh, gets the start in one game for an injured Josh Jackson, uh, comes in, puts up 332, three touchdowns, going 17 for 27, and a great win at Duke, who was ranked 22 at the time. Great game for him, just, you know, just that, that, that mental toughness, man, to just like be just grind in there, always ready for your opportunity to be able to just come in when the team needs you, put them on your back, rally to a win. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, a lot of people love this signing on the Internet. I know Ryan Willis was a killer out there. People love him on these Internet streets. Absolutely love his talent. I think that all he needs is a shot, just like, you know, all these guys. So ended up starting 25 games collegiately and went to the spring league, played for the linemen, Mega Bowl MVP in their championship game in 2021. He gets a practice squad roster spot with the Chicago Bears in December of 2021, goes active as Nick Foles backup for one game and then gets cut May of 2022 after signing a futures deal. And in September of 2022, he was spotted with Jordan Palmer. And as we know, most of us, Jordan Palmer is the XFL quarterback guru guy for them. 
developing their quarterbacks and whatnot. And uh, a lot of people saw Ryan Willis over there, and then he was linked to the Battle Hawks. Never officially signed a contract with the XFL, but he was tentatively assigned to the St. Louis Battle Hawks over there. But ends up signing with the Boats February 8th. Absolutely loved it. Like I said, like when this one was announced, people all over were like, oh, man, this guy, starter, day one, put him on the team, put him out there, get him going, let this kid sling it, put him on the field. (laughs) All the cliches. So last but not least, we've got the hometown hero of Memphis himself, Brady White. Like I said, Brady's returning to us from last year. He was a four-star, top 10 quarterback coming out of high school, just an absolute stud. Uh, Goes to Arizona State, gets injured for most of his first couple seasons there. Ends up being a grad transfer to Memphis uh, January of 2018, and then immediately goes on to just tear it up at Memphis. Uh, 2020 wins the Academic Heisman, the William V. Campbell Award. Uh, played 39 games total at Memphis, had a 62% completion career over his time in Memphis, uh, 30 interceptions to 90 touchdowns, ended up being the all-time leader in passing yards at Memphis, second in AAC history with 10,690 yards, and the stadium that the Showboats will be playing in this year just happens to be a place where he's only been beat one time in his football career. Brady White is 19 and one at the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium, where the showboats will be playing this year, as well as the gamblers. So Brady is fully connected to the town. I mean, he's been all over the socials, all over the city, meeting the guys at Gibson Donuts, all that good stuff, man. But He also has that familiarity with Todd Haley from last year. So that'll help him out, I feel like. And I think Brady's our week one starter. I think we're going to have Brady. And as long as Brady goes out there and the offense is productive and we can put points on the board, it'll be his job. But uh, Brady's a big boy. He knows he's got two dudes just waiting behind him. That's the way this football game goes. And uh, Brady knows he's got to be on his P's and Q's. There's two guys waiting to take his job at any minute. And uh, I'm just happy that whoever they put out there, Brady, Cole, Ryan, whoever steps in this season, I just want the winner. Todd Haley, no big deal. All you got to do is pick the guy that's going to make us undefeated. You're the coach. I believe in you. So, Seen Brady, of course, on the social, had a beautiful deep ball to John Franklin III, another one of our returning receivers from last year. And uh, like I said, man, I think Brady White's going to be quarterback one, week one. We'll see how the quarterback battle shakes out. Uh, I'm super, super excited for this season. Excited to give you guys some more content this season. Going to try to line up a couple interviews with the players and uh, let you guys get to know this team a little better. You know, I've talked to some of the guys, and hopefully I can nail down a couple interviews. I mean, we know these guys are busy. Obviously, this is a football season, you know. It's nothing to play around with. It's these guys' livelihood, their dream to play out this season, make it to the next level. So completely understand. Try to work around their schedule. And uh, I feel like I, I, I did okay. You know, let me know. How I did. I'm going to try to get better for you guys. Practice, practice, practice. With that being said, head over to this right here, YouTube. Subscribe to us while you're here. And the captain's log will be premiering on 3 p.m. Wednesdays going forward. Uh, can't wait to see you guys then, man. Subscribe. We've got uh, still trying to give away this Cowboys Cavante Turpin jersey. And, uh, Signed by Cavante, and once we hit a 1,000 subscribers, we'll be ready to give that bad boy away. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and go Boats!